In the vast expanse of Australia's wine sector, a crisis is unfolding as millions of wines are being uprooted to address the crippling overproduction that threatens the livelihoods of growers and winemakers. Following global demand for wine, especially the cheaper red varieties that Australia specializes in, has exacerbated the situation. This downturn hits particularly hard in regions like Griffith, where vineyards dominate the landscape. As vineyards shrink and grapes wither on the vine, the future of Australia's wine industry hangs in the balance. The once thriving vineyards now resemble scenes of devastation, with heaps of twisted wood serving as a grim reminder of the crisis. For many, it's a heartbreaking sight. Generations of family heritage are being uprooted alongside the vines. The decision to pull out vines is a painful one, but necessary to salvage what remains of the industry. But even as growers grapples with the excess supply, there's no relief in sight. The market remains flooded and prices continue to plummet. Many are left with no choice but to give away wine at rock bottom prices to make room for the next vintage. In a bid to survive, growers are turning to alternative crops like citrus and nuts, hoping for greater profits and stability. But for some, the transition marks the end of an era as the once thriving tradition of family grape growing gives away to corporate dominance. As the sun sets on these vine-covered hills, Australia's wine industry stands at a crossroads. While the challenges are immense, there's hope that innovation and resilience will pave the way for a brighter future in the world of wine down under.